Aboriginal Day Live is a celebration of the National Aboriginal Solidarity Day, or some call it National Aboriginal Day. And the reason it was created is, if you go back 10 years ago before the show was created, you, you turn on the national news program and they would mention that it's National Aboriginal Day. And then they would go through all the issues that are still plaguing Aboriginal people. So we started to think, you know what? National Aboriginal Day really should be a day where we're celebrating what Aboriginal culture is about, celebrating and engaging our youth, and inviting Canadians in. So we wanted to create a national show that would showcase the very best in our culture, in our artists, and to change the talking points and the dialogue with the rest of Canada. And in fact now, we are having a different dialogue with Canada and it's celebrating our culture. I am so happy to see that in fact we have done that because it is amazing to see what has happened. You know, over one million Canadians now take in this show and uh, it's, it's really exciting to see. Everybody. I'm Lil Mike and I'm Funny Bone and we, we are Mike Bone. We just want to say happy 10th anniversary to Aboriginal Day Live. Yeah! When we started the show, it started out as a one hour uh, live show right outside uh, the offices of the APTN here in Winnipeg in a little courtyard. And from there, the next year it grew and it went to the, the Forks, which is a, a major meeting place here in Winnipeg. And then the subsequent year after that, we added a second stage. Now, I can tell you there's not, I don't know of any other broadcaster in the world that sets up a live music celebration from two uh, remote locations and so over the years uh, we've had our twin satellite stage move throughout this country which has really helped to kind of bring that national celebration and uh, you know I have to say one of the most memorable twin stages that we had was in the Kaluit where that was the very first time in Canadian history that someone broadcasted in high definition out of the Kaluit and, and out of such a remote location for a live music per, uh, performance. So the show, as much as it is about, you know, first and celebrating Aboriginal culture, it actually is also about achieving some technological first, if you will, in broadcast television. Yo, this is Lightning Cloud, Crystal Lightning, Johnny Miles, MC Red Cloud. Happy 10th anniversary! Yeah. Happy 10th anniversary, APTN and Aboriginal Day Live. You guys rock. Over the past 10 years, we have had many, many, many artists perform on our stage. We've had young to emerging artists to very established artists that are well known within Canadiana, if you will, from Buffy St. Marie to, to Ghost Keeper to Tanya Tuyak, Don Amaro, Joey Styles, Tribe Called Red, Billy Ray Cyrus. We've had absolutely a large breadth of so many artists and, and uh, it really speaks to the, to the diversity of our culture. And, you know, really the success of the show is possible because of the artists that are there, because of the culture that is there. We just set the stage, but the culture and the Aboriginal people is really what sets it. 